Howdy folks, I'm your host, the Rogue Star K17, and I have come to bring you all some more Dark Souls 2. And we are still a hexer. We are back with Samael. Say hello, Samael. Alright, very good, very good. Oh, let me adjust my headphones there. There we are. Alright, and we are back in the Lost Bastille, and we are here to fight a boss, and they are down there. So we're heading that way next. So let's not waste another second. Let's fire right off into it. I'm hype. I'm hype. Ooh, let me get my spells back to full, though. I was goofing around a little bit, dropping some spells at these uh, fools. And I'm not even going to bother with them or the turd munches below. I'm just going to go over here and drop on down. Yep. Because I know where I'm going. Oh, hello. I forgot they had somebody over here. They don't anymore. A nice quick little fix. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with all the exploding douchebags in there. <clears throat> Let's lure you over here. Oh, that's right. This part used to be very annoying. There were three archers up there originally. They have since dropped it down to only one. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, just hold your shield up and run. You'll outrun the arrows anyways. But there used to be three up there, and it wasn't too con inconvenient when you were running down hit here because this guy wasn't here when there were three archers. They took away two of the archers and put that guy here that we just killed. It was more annoying once you get up there, and I'll show you exactly why. Although I'm sure most people already know. But yeah. It is my duty as your host to inform you anyways. We're going to want to head up this ladder. Excuse you? Idiot. Oh, it was him. He's the one that came. The guy that was over here. So yes, this is where the archers are. This is also where the bonfire is. And there would always be these three archers right here. And they would just immediately start shooting at you. Every time you use this bonfire. you Just right as soon as you get up here, you gotta kill three people. So you almost could never get leave the bonfire with completely full health. Because one of them would hit you with like an arrow. Wasn't super bad, just annoying. You'd always go to kill him, and then one of them would hit you with an arrow, and you'd have the urge to sit back down at the bonfire and try it again. Although, you could just kill him 15 times and be done with it. But who's got time for that? There are more pressing matters. Beware of jumping, then death. Yes, because that is an elevator hole down there. Actually, I think we can make... Well, we'd land on the ground, but we wouldn't survive the drop. This one we can. Yeah, but now we're just down here and we're down some health. I should have just taken the ladder. That was kind of dumb. Oh, well. And then there's this guy who I will always, like, roll off of the cliff to... Oh. I fucking knew it. They were going to try and make me do it, y'all. They were going to try and make me roll off that cliff. But I'm not having it today. No sorry. Oh, bouncy sword. That was dramatic. Be careful here. Someone's going to try to sneak up on you. I, I can feel it. That's what they usually do. You usually kill the bow guy and then go to pick up the item and the sword guy comes out and hits you in the back and knocks you off. As I stated, this game is full of booby traps. Go ahead. I am dealing a lot of damage. Alright. Now I am going to want to... Actually, how many flying butterflies do I have? Is it even worth going back up there? I got five. I'll just go down. Now, you are going to want to step off here. There's an item. 
at a certain area. You gotta step off right at the right, right time. You don't wanna step off too early because you'll fall to your death. Bear that in mind. Oh, and I got something I need to bring up to y'all. Don't let me forget. We need to talk about the videos lately and how many views they've been getting. They're averaging at like 30, which is high for me. What's going on? What y'all blowing up my videos for? 30 views on almost all the latest videos? It's crazy. I love it. Here we are. Sometimes hard to see. I like getting that lit. This makes it easier because there's some more stuff we're going to want to light and it's nice to not have to take the elevator to light our torch. Okay, and now in here there's going to be a familiar uh, a familiar enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare. This is all Scholar of the First Sin stuff too. This is not like how it used to be in the game. Yep. A whole ruined sentinel. Your eyes do not deceive you, and he won't lock on. What's wrong with you? Luckily, you can cheese him real bad right here. And you know what? I'm not going to try to use this on that uh, other chick. The boss that I'm about to face. I don't want to use it on her because she's too quick. She jumps around a lot, so I'd probably end up wasting it. So I'm just going to do it, you know, the safe way. Oh, that was certainly something. Nice and safe. And that's definitely how you're going to want to do it once you, um, if you do this area in New Game Plus. Which I always do this area in New Game Plus when I'm a Pyromancer, because you get the Flame Weapon spell. Which is important stuff. Now, I think there's some giveaway that there's a secret wall here, because there's like a, a reflection on the water is different or something. I can never notice it. Don't walk too far out here because you'll go, you'll drop into the ocean, but yeah, there is a little area out here. You can stand on a nice little view here. What are these just random towers just out there for? Who do they keep in there? They just drop some undead in there and leave them. They had to make so many cells because there were so many undead and they still couldn't hold them all. Crazy. So we get the northern ritual band, which is like the southern ritual band, but instead of... Restored uh, Aldia, raise the number restored. So this was already a thing. This modest looking ring contains very powerful magic to imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings. One need only recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. Incre raise the number of spells you may attune. This one increases spell uses at the cost of HP. So there's a drawback to this one, but you get more spell uses. However, it cuts your HP like in half, so I don't use it. Let me see. I thought I was walking around with my shield up, but I was not. So there used to be a bunch of these uh, malformed beast guys in here. Like two or three of them you'd have to fight, if I remember correctly. But now there's just the one Ruined Sentinel. Wait, not, not Ruined... Wait, was it a Ruined Sentinel? What's his name? No, the Ruined Sentinels are the tall guys. Why did I call them a Ruined Sentinel? I'm stupid. Everybody's probably yelling at this video right now. Alright, we need to get down there. You can lock on now. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of these guys in this area. They're kind of sprinkled around here and there. All throughout. And they are going to try to kill me. Key. 
Yeah, this guy doesn't care if you come in here and grab this uh, fire seed. But yes, this is a hay night. And we get the hate spear for that, which is a really neat weapon. Okay, I wonder if I can get these guys out with an alluring skull. I mean, it's definitely worth a shot. Maybe I just didn't throw it far enough, but I don't feel like doing more experimentation. Now you can say screw all those bottom cells and just go out through the top if you have the Bastille key. Otherwise you gotta go down there and like open the door up and stuff. But yeah, I wanna go in there because I think there's stuff down there and I wanna get the stuff. All the stuff and all the things. Okay, we gotta be very careful about this. That may have already gotten their attention. Look at these guys chained up down here. And some of them are still alive and explode. I think some of these guys are sitting, yep, below the waterline. I knew it. I knew it. My memory did not fail me. Thank God. Anyone else? Take a little while to get up. Okay, yeah, I knew there was at least one item down here. Okay, so it's round nine, another pair of lockdown. Can never have too many of those. Okay, so yeah, right here. This is how you have to go down normally. You don't have the Bastille key. And now that everything's clear, we have a straight shot from here to our torch room. And I'll show you why we wanted to light this torch. Oh yeah, and about back to the videos. Um, Sifted's 2 with the best has like 71 views as of right now. Wow! Oh yeah, but this boss fight is hard in more than one way when you go into it in New Game Plus. Um... Let me see, what, what else is... Oh yeah, the two pyromancers from like like Dark Souls 1 pyromancers come out. And um, you gotta fight them as well. They're almost like little uh, NPC invasions. I think that's basically exactly what they are. Oh, but yeah, they suck. They make the fight a pain in the ass. I think the reason she's locked up here in like this very special prison that's like at the bottom of the Bastille is because she tried to relight the first flame. Something like that. She's the reincarnation of the Witch of Izalith. I know that much. I gotta be very- oh my god. I gotta be very careful in here because my controller is doing that auto walk forward shit because the thing he's busted- I gotta get a new controller, y'all. I gotta- I got to. I can't keep putting it off. I've made mentions to it before, but I just- I'm a lazy person. this. This is going to make the fight a lot easier, and as you can see, we couldn't even go in there to do that without the Bastille key, so it's a good thing we grabbed that. She's going to swat out the light that's already in the room, but if you light these, then there will, there will still be light in certain parts of the room, which makes it nice and easier. I won't say easy, but easier. And there's an item in this room. Smooth and silky stone. So there's an item on each side, and this one it's in the room, and the other one is just next to the stairs. 
but yeah, there's an item on both sides. Okay. Let me not go in here without Lucatiel and, you know, be stupid. I don't know why I didn't grab her when I lit the torch. I guess I just didn't want her to run off the edge while I was, um... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid, y'all. Here we are. Mi amor. No, I'd better not call her that. I don't want her man's LP Dark Souls HD coming after me. Between you guys and me, though. Smash 100%. Mm, the water looks cool once you light the fires. Forgot about that. Alrighty. Let us prepare ourselves. Now, Luca Teal can fuck this person up for the most part. Um, even in New Game Plus. So, um, Luca Teal's just real badass. Just in general. Oh, I hate this scene. It's a sunlight maggot. Does that like mean she's crazy? I didn't. I thought I had my shield out. Does that mean she's crazy the same way Solaire was crazy? And it's like the sunlight maggot that's making her aggressive? Or like what? What is she writing in here? Yeah, see what I mean? She's quick. dark, are ya? For someone who prefers to fight in it. Oh, shit. Can't dodge this one. Yeah, baby! Thank you, Luca Teal! Alright. And that is the Lost Center. Really cool boss fight, really cool boss area. Yeah, in the, um, in New Game Plus, guys will, like, drop out of here and break through these cages, and they'll start, like, fighting you alongside her. That's the main tough part. Also, she's got a lot more health and deals a lot more damage. And now for our reward. An Elizabeth Mushroom and a Fragrant Branch of Yorn. Now we can get to the last boss, finally. Ugh. The primal bonfire was rekindled. Very, very nice. Okay. We got about 20 minutes. We got time for it to keep this episode going. Let's go! Back to Majula. Okay, we are back in Majula. Uh, let's see if we have any souls for some levels. The soul and the curse are one and the same. Your soul has grown stronger still. I only hope it brings you what you wish. I think it will. Alright, what do you got for me? Four levels, not bad. I really should get these higher than that. 
I should also catch my faith. You know what? I can I can balance my faith and intelligence. That would be nice. Go ahead and get it done. I remember Dark Souls 1, some people would say that adaptability or resistance, whatever it was called back then, was better than vigor. <laughs> I don't believe that that was ever true. I have mashed the circle button to try to get out of that menu before and ended up just backing off the edge because I was talking to her like this. And it was taking too long to back out. Alright! Now. Ooh, I just remembered. There was a boss fight I skipped. Back in Huntsman's Cops, there was another way I could have gone. The horseman, the, the executioner's chariot. Oh, I really don't want to do that fight. I typically only do it if I need the pyromancies. I'll think about it. I will think about it. No promises. Hmm. Oh yes, of course. We are going to be heading back to Benhart, where the stone lady was, and we are going to finally free her from her stone prison. Because we used the feathers we got earlier, or the the fragrant branches we got earlier to go and farm Dark Knight Stones in the tutorial area. So now we have one thanks to going through that last area. We can go forward this way and fight the last of the four main bosses. I exhausted your dialogue, right? She likes that you. Ah, hey. Yeah. I'm about to show you that you were exactly right. Also, this is one of my favorite characters in the game. She's just so sweet. I feel so bad for what happened to her. She's kind of like the, uh... The chick who follows... Or the guy who follows, um... The two sorcerers in the first game, but she's a pyromancer, so she's seen as more primitive. It's a little different than the dynamic from the first game, but it's also kind of the same. You'll see what I mean. I'll talk to both of them. You can already hear why she was stone. Oh, dang it. Give me oh, a moment, please. It said something about something about being petrified, so it's hard to it's hard to speak. I'm fine. I think No no no. I'm fine. Really, I am. Um my name is Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. It was my pleasure. I am Samael. Well, I'm the rogue star, but this is Samael. Oh. You're that traveler. I literally am still. I never still haven't thanked you. Well. I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. That has nothing to do with pyromancy. I don't know why she words it like that. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. Mm. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But, just look at me. 
My clothes are in tatters. What are you even wearing? It's like... Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything. Whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground. And I'll change into it later. Yeah, that doesn't mean drop it. You want to give equipment. I think you can only do this once, so you got to give her all the pieces that you want her to wear at the same time. I typically just give her, like, the Wanderer set. So I won't be needing it anymore. I don't think you can ever summon her, so... Doesn't really make much much difference in that way. Oh, I could make her... Oh, I could make her... The, I could put her in the turtle armor. I'm not going to do that. It'd be funny... But, um, I like her character too much to make a goop out of it. Because I kind of want it to, like, look right when I talk to her and stuff. So, I don't want her to look goofy when I'm having a serious conversation with her. So, yeah, we'll give her the Wonder Cloak. Good. Um, it's coming to the game and it cannot be retrieved, okay? Yep. You can already buy some stuff from her. She sells the basic quartz rings. Uh, there are plus two versions you can get of them, so I don't recommend buying them now. Now, these are useful, they temporarily boost your resistance to various elements. And she sells three fire seeds, which is really good. As a pyromancer, you'd want to get her early. Oh, so she has. She has some spells. Another fireball, another fire orb, combustion, poison mist, and flash sweat, and iron flesh. Now, those are really cool. Iron flesh is uh, really cool. Very specific. Uh, very specific uses, though. Fireman seeing the turtle the power of flame, turning the bot turns the body into iron, increasing defense defense and resistance. As one might guess, the rock solid flesh enabled by the spell dramatically slows movement, guaranteed to cause trouble if at an inopportune moment. Hmm. I can think of a few uses, but like I said, very niche. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Hmm, I'm not sure where I might find the Lord, but perhaps Majula is my best chance. Hmm. I'm going back. I hope we can meet again. I have my very own teacher. Hmm. His name is Corillian of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. I know him. I was fascinated by sorcery, and so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. Hmm. Interesting. That's your account of it. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. Mm. But, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Hmm. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? It's kind of talking about the game. I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. I don't know about that. But yeah, you know, sometimes what you're good at in this game isn't always what you fancy. The spells all behave very differently. Sorceries, very unique as opposed to miracles, as opposed to pyromancy. So, try them all, see what you're good at. And also things like strength and dexterity and heavy armor and light armor, you know, what you fancy might not always be what works best for you. I have my very own... His... I was... When... But... I'm rather... But... What... 
Oh, it's hardly my... Be safe. Yep. Alright, try not to get turned to stone again. I'm opening the door. Oh shit, I forgot. This happened. I forgot! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Why did I forget to kill everybody in this room? That's a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Well, at least we can meet Rosabeth back in Majula now. Let the rest. Ah, there she is. She looks so cool in the wanderer gear. Douchebag. How could you abandon someone so sweet? She looks good in it. She looks good in it. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Majula, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Yep. Before her, you can only upgrade your pyromancy flame over there, and he doesn't sell sorceries. I finally tracked down my teacher. But I've decided to keep at it alone. I need to see what I can achieve by myself. That's a good idea. Master Kurillian and I are from Malfia to the south, a land lush with sorcery and pyromancy. Master Kurillian polished his art at one of our renowned magic academies. But he argued that the academies were terrible places to learn magic. This quite angered Master Glocken, my previous teacher. Once Master Kurillian spoke excitedly of this land. He made talk of the remnants of some great power and the deep abyss that surrounds it. Abyss? I tried to ask more, but he didn't seem to hear. Oh, I'll never be good enough, will I? Fuck that guy, you're good enough for me. Yeah, so, you know, the, the way she uses the word abyss that surrounds it. He's obviously talking about, like, he's talking about dark sorcery from Dark Souls 1. That's what he's talking about. I don't believe he's talking about, like, Seed's power. Although he is kind of like Big Hat Logan. But I think he's more fascinated with, like, uh, what's in the first human and stuff. Although I'm not sure. He could be referring to, like, uh... What's his name? Seath the Scaleless. Yeah, he could be referring to Seath the Scaleless, but I, the, just the way she uses the word abyss, I don't know. I'm gonna. I, I, I just wish I could show him my hexes, like have him see them. One time, I accidentally smacked her, and she got scared, and I was so upset. I immediately went and absolved my sins. I don't even think I could, cause I hadn't like angered her, but I went to do it anyways. It was a perilous trek across yeah. the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> I finally tracked down my team, but I need... Be safe. I will. Oh, God, we gotta go all the way back. I'm not gonna make you guys wait. Hexing her. This urn filled with black powder explodes in fixing great fire damage. Utilizes a powerful explosive developed in the Fallen Kingdom. Oh! A Ferosa. Black firebombs can cause harm to their owners when misused. And Ferosa law defined str stringent standards for their safe storage. I don't know. A small clay urn in wreath and magic. Explodes in fixing magic damage. Created a Melfia, a land that flourishes with magic and pyromancy. Though the magic contained in the urn lacks potency, it is a boon to any inexperienced traveler. Hex Black Lacquer Urn. Explodes inflicting dark damage. Oh. Oh. With the dark art of hexing strictly forbidden, who would dare fill an urn with such power? The very origins of the art are unclear. Yet another reason hexing is feared. I like the descriptions of the various elemental throwables. I've wanted to make a character who doesn't use any elements and only uses, like, throwables and various arrow types. 
and enchanted bows. But it's just too tempting to bore into that stat and just go all out with it, you know? I will be doing what I like to do in Dark Souls 1, though. I will be getting my bow um, equipped with dark, and I will be using dark bolts. Fatty. I already knew it. Somebody's always got a, a fatty sign there. Because you can't squeeze through, and you almost can. Yeah! It's 7 in the morning, and I haven't slept, guys. I, I apologize. All for the best. She could have gotten hurt. I'm glad she didn't get hurt from all that. I just realized he is like using. What the heck is that? Just a bunch of skeleton parts taped together. Hmm. Come on down, but oh wow, they closed the door on you. Oh, I was gonna say, if that was a Dark Knight Stone, Faint Stone, though, those are still pretty rare. I remember before I could farm the Basilisk, because uh, the first Dark Soul, first version of Dark Souls 2, um, had no, uh, had, like, barely any Faint Stones. You had to get all the way, I mean, all the way, to, um, where is it, the, the, the Doors of Pharaohs, Doors of Saints, something like that. It's where you use all the Pharaohs locks, so Doors of, some Pharaohs, I don't remember. It's the place with all the Pharaoh's Lockstones, um, and the other Rat King, I think. Or, or the, the Royal Rat Revenant. I, I don't know. You probably know the area I'm talking about. If not, you'll see it when I get there. But there's a Faint Stone there. Until then, you're just rocking the Magic Mace if you want to use a Magic Weapon. It's so annoying. I hate that. But, um, now we've got the ability to farm four stones with the Champion's Covenant and the Basilisk in the, uh tutorial area. Although, does this Basilisk respawn? I guess I could have farmed him. Eh, I don't know. I just remember it was much harder to get a faint stone back in those days. Whereas the Dark Knight stone, I always get that one from the Crystal Lizard down after, you know, beating the people down there. Oh my god, bro, get your life together. There we go. Kill everyone. And this one has this guy in it. And he's weird. He's got this anvil on a stick. Very interesting. He's a germ. And he's guarding a soul of Brown Knight and a human effigy. Good, we got our effigy back for the one they took from us. Alrighty. I don't, don't want to do that. Just want to get my spells back. I'm still part of the Rat Covenant. That's interesting. Bozo. Yeah, I guess I could farm that guy. That actually might be faster. He's right next to the bonfire. Why didn't I ever think of that? Probably because I'm stupid. This road. This place is weird. 
Oh, the fucking shaded woods. Fuck the shaded woods. Fuck everything about this whole place. I'm gonna buff my weapon, because I'd rather just kill these guys with one hit. Yeah, this place is very pretty. I don't know what this is. Is that a bridge or is that just... I, I don't even know. RE4 vibes, for sure. I say that so much. And I would say it so much more. Oh, excuse me, bitch! Who in the hell do you think you... Yeah, that's what I thought. Haha. -ha. Egypt. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Good stuff. Can never have too many of those. Decrepit structure. Effigy. Did I get Cestus from the guy or like what? Okay, there's an item up there, you can see it. We can get up there later, don't worry. I will show you guys how to get that item. Oh yeah, ooh. We're gonna be out of time soon. There was a lot of talking in this episode. I apologize if this episode wasn't very eventful other than me killing that boss. But um there will be more. There will be more. And I'm sorry for like the week long break. A lot of work but I'm still back no need to worry about that I will not be disappearing again hopefully but um yeah this has been fun and I'm gonna have to call this episode here so we're going to continue into the shaded woods in the net or wait shaded wood or yeah we're gonna be going this way I think and we're gonna be doing that next time cuz I gotta call this video here oh god I can already see him but for anyone who stumbled across this video, I do hope that it was worth the watch. If it was, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I will see any of you in the next episode. Peace!